again. Like, this is getting a bit too frequent, actually. We're not doing too... Like semi-organised. <laughs> yeah, so... And uh, we've actually had quite the drop in temperature, eh? Mm-hmm. We've had some snow. So it's looking a little more winter-like right now. So allegedly it was supposed to warm up to minus 22 Celsius today, but apparently it's staying near a 30 below. So that's the kind of... So we ain't going out. No. When anybody that listening to this that doesn't live in Manitoba... If you think about the temperatures that we've got at the minute and how everybody's freezer typically runs at minus 18 Celsius and we've got minus 30 outside. Well, not just Manitoba, they're right right across Saskatchewan, Alberta. And they're suffering, eh? They've got... Lower, they've been down into the late 30s, uh, early 40s in some spots. So, and like... um, North Dakota and all the way across the top of the states there are... Idaho and all the, uh, sorry, the cat's doing this <laughs> thing. And I'm just... Actually, if you could have just seen like how Richard was sat on his chair, Mr. Binkers was uh, on the back of it and you were perched on the front of your chair because you didn't want to disturb him. Well, I had a warm bottom <laughs> yeah. and that's always a bonus. Not a warm bottom now where he's been, so apparently uh, my knee is favourable right now. So yeah, Montana all the way across the top of the little bit, just like a, a cold air vortices sticking around for a bit. So like I say, we've had it nice up until a week or so ago and like we had uh, snowed on when, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday evening it snowed and I actually, uh, they hadn't cleared anything and I hadn't cleared anything and I had to go out at eight o'clock on Thursday morning and my poor little car had snow coming up the hood over the windshield and I was just ramming speed through the uh, through the drifts but we made it and lived to tell the tale and fun times yeah so I say we've not done too bad because winter arrived pretty late so hopefully this winter's a pretty short one and hopefully I'll get out cross country skiing soon so they just basically got to do some work on the trails pack the snow and get them all groomed and hopefully well well, we said to said to Karen, I thought, I was considering going to another place today, and I thought, well, after that, uh, that I'm not going, because I... Drop in temperature. I don't mind skiing 20, 20 and above, but 20 and below just is hard work. There's not a there's not a lot of... Um, believe it or not, the colder it gets, the grippier snow gets. Snow and ice at, like, zero, minus five is really, really icy, slippy, very treacherous, but once you get minus 15... Uh, out on the ice, you can run on it with regular runners, and you've got quite a lot of grip. It's it goes the opposite way. So I mean, it's uh, unless you've experienced it, and like I say, with the with the trying to think, the glide that was the word I was thinking of. The glide on the snow is uh, gets less as the as the temperature gets colder. Even though you have to change your kick wax if you've got waxed skis, it still ends up again. It's it's a lot harder work, believe me, and keeping warm as well. So 20 is the line for me. I won't go out below minus 20. Oh, I think I'm about like minus 15. So I'm like a real <laughs> fair weather skier. I was, you were going to say five then. I was going to completely agree with you. But... <laughs> and I, I shouldn't tell you that Kristen, uh, one of my previous boot campers, she put a post on Facebook today of her. She's been out cross country skiing, oh, okay. and she said she loved her new mascara, and her eyelashes were all frozen, so she's got white Kate. Oh no, no. <laughs> um, eyelashes. So uh, people would spend a fortune to get that look. But the, <laughs> it's a good segue actually, because today's podcast is about winter. Skin. It is, yeah, winter, winterizing your skin, because uh, winter. I did a post yesterday i recorded the videos a couple of days ago and it's the first time that i uh, used the captions thing we had to find a free app that would put captions onto the video well, but, a good app as well. well well yeah something that did what we needed it to without paying a gazillion dollars to have some fancy app and it's a lot of times people if they be at work or something and they don't want to listen to us or Karen rattling on about stuff so it's easier to read read <laughs> stuff more often than not and like I say if if you're on a, a crowded bus or something or whatever or in somewhere and you haven't got headphones then again it's difficult to to hear stuff so the caption stuff works really well so the 
I'm actually going to be just expanding really on what's on the video. So this podcast is just really going over what the video showed and hopefully just like expanding and elaborating on some of the stuff that I shared. And we said, obviously, with winter, it typically comes obviously the snow here. But um, as I shared on the, the videos um, yesterday... Uh, The temperatures all kind of drop, but along with the snow comes lower humidity. So that can be problematic to our skin because obviously it dries the skin out. It can become flaky, dry, irritated. And the thing is, because especially here in Manitoba, well, Canada-wide as well, we often neglect our skincare routine during winter because we just... Be for yourself. (laughs) We just wear... Well, we don't want to talk about your manscaping. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll Later. leave the we'll leave the manscaping out of this. So, so. You're posting photos? Um, probably not. No. <laughs> Pinky. <laughs> so, because we're bundled up in layers, and we get home, take those layers off, and try to get warm, we kind of like put our skincare routine to the side. But if anything, we should be spending more time on our skincare during the winter because. If you think about it, you're almost like suffocating your skin because you're just keeping it covered with layers and layers of warm clothes. And unfortunately, there's no way we can get avo- we can avoid not going out ever. So I'm just going to share some of the stuff from my Instagram video post that I did yesterday about how your skincare routine should look different during winter than what it does uh, looks like in summer. But the thing is, a lot of people think that skincare procedures like involve a gazillion products and about 20 different steps. And you really only need three steps. And also, you don't need like a lineup of products all across your counter, like or in your bathroom, because a lot of our products are multifaceted. So it'll do more than one thing. And the first step that I covered was that we need to cleanse the skin. So our coconut milk and honey soaps actually contain 80% of coconut oil. And coconut oil is actually a great cleanser. It'll help you to remove dirt, excess oils. Uh, It'll remove makeup, um, if you wear any, that is. And... um, it's, uh, it'll also help to break down the makeup if you do wear it. And it'll collect dirt and sebum. It'll clear uh, pores and even help to remove dead skin. But because of the high fat content, that's what helps to break down all those like contaminants and like dirt and sebum and like... Sebum? Sebum. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sebum. No. Okay. <laughs> so... I've never heard the word before. <laughs> <laughs> so the high fat contents will, will help to break down all those like contaminants that we get on our skin. And it'll actually help to loosen and soften up blackheads. So that, again, will help to re, um, to unclog the pores and make your skin look a lot healthier. And the one thing about the cleansing properties with the coconut oil is it won't actually strip or dehydrate your skin. It won't leave it oily, because, but... It will remove any excess oils from the skin, but it will leave the skin nice and soft and moisturized. And because we add honey to our soaps, honey's got antimicrobial properties and that will act as a cleanser as well. And that will act as a cleanser at the same time as not stripping away any of those vital oils as well. And when it comes to makeup removal like people actually have makeup removers cleansers toners like washes like what whatever like they've got multi bottles of potions and lotions in their bathroom but if you do wear makeup don't go and buy any expensive makeup remover just use some coconut oil and then because the our coconut milk and honey soaps will remove makeup but some of those mascaras are pretty brutal and thick and may need a little bit of extra help to uh, remove it before you actually do wash your face so put some coconut oil on a piece of, like a cotton bud and then just use that as a makeup remover cotton ball 
Cotton ball. You wouldn't get much on a cotton ball. Cotton ball. No, cotton ball. I, what are they called that here? What? Cotton ball. I don't know. Ball of... Cotton wool. Cotton wool, yeah. <laughs> so, and when your skin is actually cleansed, then cleanse, cleansed skin will basically allow for an exfoliation process to be more efficient. And so step one is your cleansing, and you guessed it, step two is actually exfoliation. Oh, I guessed wrong. Oh, what did you guess? Go to bed. Oh. <laughs> So exfoliation should be done two to three times a week. You can do it more often. I'll go to bed more often than that, so I was definitely wrong. Yeah. So uh, two to three times a week. You can do it more often. You could do it every single day if you wish. And the one good thing about our body scrub and my unicorn farts body scrub is it's really, really gentle. The honey and the sugar both give exfoliating properties, but... It's really mild and gentle that you can use it on kids' skin. You can use it on your face. You can use it all over body. So if you did want to exfoliate multiple times a week, then use something that is gentle and kind to the skin in the process. And exfoliation after cleansing actually helps to promote cell renewal. And it, again, further helps to unclog those pores and it'll improve the overall texture and appearance of your skin. Ah, go. Cool. So you're going to say something. Oh, all right. I'm all ears. I'm in it. <laughs> I, I fell down at step two. So oh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got it wrong. So go stand in the corner and think about what you've done. I already am. <laughs> no, I bet Mr. Binks is in the corner stopping you from standing there. Though he's gone sulking because I kicked him off his chair. <laughs> So the one and the one thing with the honey being a key ingredient in my body scrub is that honey contains like vital enzymes that will actually help to break down um, dead skin cells. So it will further help the exfoliation process and again make it more um, efficient. And when it comes to raw and pasteurized honey, it really is an underrated gem and does absolute wonders for your skin. And primarily because like propolis, it's got antibacterial, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and anti-inflammatory products to it. So when you add raw honey to a facial skincare product, it's like having your own do-it-yourself face mask. Mask. So, and honey also has, with its antibacterial properties, like I can't get my words out, and and it's actually has a unique pH balance that helps promote oxygen um, and um, the pH balance help that promotes oxygen and wound healing. Sorry. like doesn't help you get words out, does it? No, <laughs> it doesn't. And he doesn't. I think probably will because like, my throat's a little bit gravelly today and I uh, don't know why, but uh, probably just dry. So I should probably have eaten some honey beforehand. But when it comes to the antibacterial properties and the pH balance and the wound healing, that also leads to the fact that it'll help with scars, stretch marks, scratches, bites, even tattoos, and even burns. And one of your clients uh, actually, did she have a C-section? <laughs> and she used the body scrub on her st uh, stretch marks and C-section scar, didn't she? Yeah, I just saw, saw great improvements, yeah. Yeah, she said that you can hardly see the stretch marks anymore. You can hardly see the scar from using our unicorn farts. And somebody, one of your... No, no, it's a customer. They ordered some stuff last year, didn't they? And she put a post on Facebook yesterday saying that she'd taken my unicorn farts to... Putacana. Putacana. Mexico. What? Mexico. Mexico. I said, like, I don't think my unicorn farts have travelled that far. They've travelled to Arizona. I know that much, but... Uh, Florida. Uh, Fl Florida? They're under Arizona. Yeah, they've been around a bit. Oh, they've been around. But not the same ones, obviously. No, no. <laughs> they've not been to Putacana before, but what did she say it's about... Uh... It was crap. <laughs> she said, after a day in the sun, it really helped her skin stay soft and recover. There you go. See, so everybody needs unicorn farts in their skincare routine. Putacana or not. Putacana or not, because uh, obviously here in summer, we do get some like pretty awesome temperatures and some pretty, uh, people can get some pretty bad sunburn. But uh, anyway. Which is a dumb trick. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Anyway, step three after we've exfoliated. What's step three, Rich? You lost me at two. <laughs> yeah. Moisturize it. Oh. So we've cleansed, we've exfoliated, and now we're going to moisturize. Um, because honey and propolis both have humectant properties, I know I've mentioned this a gazillion times, but it's always good to remind people what a humectant is. Um, it will take moisture from the air and draw it into your skin. But if your skin's already damp and warm, um, say after getting out of the shower or the bath or just washing your face, applying our Nature's Skin Therapy Moisturizer or our Nature's Radiant, it'll actually help to lock in any trapped moisture. So the skin will look more hydrated, it'll glow more, it'll look healthy and it'll all feel nice and soft. And if you're not following a winter specific routine and use and um, you're not using natural and therapeutic skincare products. I don't, come and stand in the corner with me. Yeah, you can go and stand in the corner. It might be a very crowded corner. <laughs> and as I said in the beginning, because people cover up a lot more in the winter time, I said that you're basically suffocating your skin. So your pores are going to get more clogged and it's going to increase the prevalence of light like, breakouts and acne. So we, I put some new posts on my Instagram this morning and I actually learned how to pin posts to the top of my Instagram. I'm, a, I'm on a roll now. Like I've like learned how to put captions onto videos and now busy week. Learned how to uh, pin things to the top of my Instagram. So you can teach old dogs new tricks. Uh, you're calling me an old dog. I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, go stand in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Stay there indefinitely. No, no, I've lost like, oh yeah, I've lost my thread, but I... <laughs> you were patting yourself on the back about being social media queen. Yes, social media queen. But I don't know, like, we, you actually said yesterday that um, we're too old to learn this stuff. <laughs> I've got the patience. I know, we need, need to uh, get some three-year-old toddler to come and show us how to do this because I was, like, recording my videos and I'm trying to not look like to the side of the phone or the other part of the screen because I needed to press the button to stop things and start the videos and like I yeah just need to uh, work on that a bit more but I don't know like in the corporate world over the years we've presented in front of like gazillions of like people a lot of gazillions today yeah because we have oh. like and gazillion listeners to the podcast because it was gazillion four <laughs> it's more than four yeah and and like we've stood in fr on stage in front of like tons of people you can stand there and fluidly like present to an audience and then when you're trying to record a 60 second video on your phone it's just so much more overwhelming and incomplete or it feels complicated so i don't know anyway um I'm I'm getting there slowly with the social media stuff. So if anybody wants to share any insights, let me know. <laughs> and also going back to moisturising. Oh, like, chestnut. Yeah, like You're I said, with that. like I said, we don't we we are suffocating our skin over winter by keeping a lot more wrapped up, not letting the air and the sun like uh, uh, get to our skin as often as uh, we would normally. But honey and propolis are non-comedogenic. mentioned this last time, which means it'll actually, again, help to unclog the pores. So another reason for incorporating, whether it's cleansing, whether it's exfoliating, moisturizing, um, products that are actually non-comedogenic and that will actually help to unclog the pores, but help to retain the natural oils in the process. So you're going to have like nice, healthy looking skin from uh, head to toe. So as I said, our Nature Skin Therapy Moisturizer is a perfect complement to step three. So if the one thing I wanted to mention that I've mentioned on the video, so if you haven't watched it on Instagram yet, then go and check it out. What the cliff notes of today. Yeah, yeah, basically. I've expanded a little bit, but basically just really covered what's on Instagram. Some people don't have Instagram. They don't like it. Facebook is usually our main uh, go to with regards to social media because you look at the metrics and 
the analytics show that Facebook's where we get most interaction. We do get a lot of traction from Facebook. Mm, yeah. Facebook. So it's old people use it. Oh, old people use it, yeah. An old dog. No, I never said that. <laughs> You're catching me again. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not going to let you forget that one. So, um, well, it's never that I've like, gone up check again. My... Well, this is the point where you say, that's it, and we'll go back. Oh, oh no, the the bundle. So close. Yes, so close, so close. Um, Hang, yeah, in there. Hang in there, people. Oh, that's it, yeah. People sometimes don't like Instagram. They don't want to have it. I mean, I won't, I'm holding back and refusing to download TikTok right now because I don't think I need to learn how to use something else because I really am struggling to learn to use Instagram. But this is obviously a expansion of what's on the Instagram video but on the video I did share that I'm actually doing a bundle of three of my key products my coconut milk soap a bag of my unicorn farts and one of my nature's skin therapy moisturizer and cost of living right now is still going through the roof so as a way to save you a bit of money i'm actually not going to charge you the taxes so i'm going to save you 12 percent. so if you want to grab one of the bundles so you'll get one of my coconut milk and honey soaps you'll get bag of the unicorn farts at the bag of the unicorn farts because kind of want to think about spring right now i mean it's tempting we i keep thinking we're not that far away from it really that my unicorn farts have still got their like sweet fragrance to it, but I've added a few more citruses to get it smelling a little bit more spring-like. So just to get us in the mood and also to get you excited about doing some exfoliation. So anyway, winterize your skin and cleanse it exfoliate it and moisturizer and those are the three steps that you need we've got three products that all do everything for you so it'll only take five minutes it will it won't take long at all nope. so i can say um we promote the fact that we have single step skincare so we we want things to as i said at the beginning multifaceted it does more than one thing so that's why we don't have like a ton of skews which Kevin O'Leary would probably like me to have like way more, but especially when I go on Shark Tank and present to him. So, um, <laughs> look forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Then, oh, yeah, I'm taking you with me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so cleanse, exfoliate, and moisturize, and don't neglect your skin over winter. Where can we grab a bundle? Are you can. It's not on the website you right call. now uh, because I only just. Launched it yesterday, and I will get... You're supposed to put it on the website and then launch it. No, because I was doing it as a social media promotion. So if anybody wants one, message me, text me, um, email me, and then once it goes on the website, we will let you know. So, but uh, limited time offer, not to force you to get started, but you don't want to leave it too late to start, so... Grab it. Because then it'll be your spring skincare it routine. It's like, you know, the uh, putting the cart before the horse or, you know, oh, no, the horse is already bolted, like, after closing the gate. Like, so you want to winterize. You, see, you want to... I just... We should cut it there because you kind of lost the plot right now. <laughs> the, the horse and the cart yeah, and everything right. else is... So. <laughs> well, I hope you find that informative. Well, uh, hopefully it warms up soon. Well, well more relatively warm for us, but... Uh, the bees are all wrapped up, so I um, might have a, a, a face full of sunshine in a bit and just have a wander across there and look at nothing because they'll all be huddled up. So Hopefully. hopefully. Oh, yeah, they will be. There'll be probably a few dead ones on Well, they'll always get some bee drop. There's some smart asses that thought the oh, the old ones that ideas. just, oh, look, it's sunny, dead. Yeah. But, hey, ho. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Check out Instagram, Facebook, and keep listening to us. Yeah. Come up with another exciting topic to... Oh. Riveted. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye.